Hello YouTube and morning gaming stuff and today I'll be giving my predictions or a wish list for the Sony E3 2016 conference. Now this is like a mix of both like predictions and like w some things I wish that will show up on the E3 uh, Sony conference so let's get in it. At number 10 we have more uh, info or release dates or you know trailers for the games that we know are going to come out like Dreams and a new game from Guerrilla Games you know. Have more info, have more trailer. Show us more release dates, you know, stuff like that. Since we know we're gonna come out, it's not—they're not gonna be like any surprises, like you know, maybe gar um, a guardian. You know, have like more info about that. We know the games are gonna come out. Just have more like info about the games. Number nine, we have um, price drop for the PS4. Now we know the PS4 news gonna come out this fall, and uh, hopefully Sony could like have a price drop for the old PS4. That way, if people can afford the new PS4 Neo. At least it could upgrade to the new PS, uh, to the old PS4, and um, you know make it so like the PS4 could be 2.99, and the PS4 Neo could be like 3.99. So you know people could at least buy the old version of the PS4, and the people who want to upgrade could buy the you know the new version. Just hopefully you know that's something I want to see price up for the PS4. At number eight we have a um, upgraded version of the Chef Factory. I know a lot of, not a lot of people like use the Chef Factory to upload to YouTube, but I do. I feel like it's a great way to like for beginners. And um, hopefully, you know, Sony can announce that they're working on a new version of the Chef Factory. Make it so, you know, maybe like a premium version you could like buy. I don't know. So you could like, you know, upload 1080p um, uh, video on YouTube and all that kind of stuff, you know. Have it, have it so you could have more features. And it'd be kind of cool to actually have an upgraded version of the Chef Factory. And number seven, we have a new um, software announcement. Now, I know this is not going to like, not going to happen. For the most part, but it'd be kind of cool if uh, Sony could give like info on like the new things they're working on for the PS4, like new features, new additions to the PS4, like name changes and like things the community wants to see on the PS4. So it'd be, just, it'd be kind of cool they could give like a quick um, update on what they're working on. Uh, maybe like name change is like one of the biggest and all that kind of stuff. So it'd be kind of cool if Sony actually does that. And number six, we have show out the PSVR. Now this it's gonna come out this fall, I believe, and um. It'll be a great way for Sony to show off the power of the VR, you know, uh, show the games, the features, the ways you could play the game, um, you know, stuff like that. Make it so, you know, people would go out and buy the PSVR. Uh, show that it's potential, show the games, you know, have like really cool, awesome games, innovative games. And uh, hopefully, if they do it right, uh, I feel like there's going to be like a lot of hype for it when it comes out this fall. And uh, just show off the power of the VR, make it, you know, so people could like it's consumer friendly and all that kind of stuff. And hopefully it becomes successful for Sony when it does release. Number five, we have a, a new Persistence game. Now this series was really underrated for the PS3. Um, the first two games were successfully both financially and critically, but the third one didn't sell as well. But it, I feel like it's a really underrated franchise. Uh, but all the games were really awesome. The story is really cool. The multiplayer was awesome. But uh, it'll be kind of cool. Insomniac could actually make a new version or a new you know game of Persistence. And um, I mean, the story was really awesome. It's like the chimera versus like the humans were like aliens versus the humans. And the humans were like a bunch of survivors, scavengers. And it'd be kind of cool to see the series on next gen. Uh, it's a very underrated series, but still, it was still like really like critically acclaimed. It's, still, it's a really awesome, uh, you know, game or series, like I said before. Just, I just want to see it on next gen or current gen. Number four, we have a God of War 4 reveal. Uh, I know Sonic Monica Studios actually like leaked it a couple, uh, uh, a couple, you know, like last year, and um, it'd be kind of cool they could give like a, a trailer at least or a re release date at least uh, of the new God of War, because that'd be kind of cool to see Kratos on the like, current gen, you know, like new um, core mechanics that are gonna have the new fighting mechanics, all that kind of stuff, because Kratos is like really awesome character. He's like the God of War franchise, is, like one of the best exclusives PS PS Session has to offer. And it's just really cool to see him on next gen. And number three, we have a uh, backwards compatibility. Now I know Sony has announced that they're not going to be able to have like the PS4, be able to like have a PS3 or PS2 or PS1 disc work. But it'd be kind of cool if they could have it so you could go to the PlayStation Store and buy like PS1 and PS2 and PS3 gra um, games like they did for the PS3. Uh, they don't have it for the PS4 for some reason. They have like the, the streaming um, service. But it's called PlayStation Now, I believe. I'm not sure where you can stream like old um, PS3 games or PS2 games. But I feel like um, having the option to actually buy the game, the much better system because you actually have the game. You play it when you want. You don't have to stream it. You don't have to like rent it. Just you know have the game is much better in my opinion. 
and have it so you could like buy PS1, PS2, and PS3 games. That'd be really cool in my opinion. I'll probably like buy, you know, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. And uh, yeah, hopefully they could bring it back for the PS4. And number two, we have a, a PS4 Neo review. I know everybody knows it's gonna come out except for Sony. He, they haven't really announced it. But it'd be kind of cool if at uh, E3, you know, Sony can announce a new PS4. Uh, they could show its potential, its power, new features that it will have, and they could convince um, users to upgrade to the new PS4. And I feel like it will be the best moment for Sony to, you know, unveil it to the public and uh, just show it off, show its potential, its power, and the new features it will offer. And uh, hopefully, we'll see it in action at E3. And finally, for number one, we have a new Crash Bandicoot game. I know there's rumors and like leaks that you know it might come back for the PS4, and it's just really awesome. I mean, it was really famous in the '90s; it was very popular, and uh, a lot of you know Sony, fam a lot of the Sony fan fan base would like to see it come back. So he was like an awesome, goofy, chaotic, and crazy character. He was like you know very awesome, very nostalgic, and be kind of cool if uh, you know Naughty Dog can work on it since you know they're finished with Uncharted. They could work on it and you know announce that at E3 would be really awesome to you know to see him come back on the PS4 or to PlayStation and just be really, really awesome to see him again. And hopefully you guys like the list. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video and peace.